use the force, Harry, with the good old picture of Spock. And the quotes attributed to Gandalf. Isn't that swell and dandy? Now you kind of have to be in the know a little bit about the different mythical, fictional universes, worlds, from which um, this quote and even image derive. You got Star Wars, you got Harry Potter, you have Star Trek, and you have Lord of the Rings. I know very minimal about each of these, but I do know enough to recognize that this is a splicing together of four very different worlds or universes. And for some people, this, if this was actually real, okay, it would trigger some fools. If someone tried to pull this off as a movie, it would probably upset some people to have such a crossover because it would ultimately be uh, a way to destroy what makes each of these worlds unique in the first place and attractive or appealing to uh, the fans that follow such uh, fictional fantasies. Now, for sure, um, people can be fans of all four of these uh, fantasy lands and that's fine and dandy but some people obviously favor one over the other and some even spend lots of time arguing why one is better than the other um, now the point with this is consider religions what if someone said something along the lines of um, I don't know pray to Mecca Joseph Smith with a picture of of the Dalai Lama with a quote attributed to the Buddha. Okay, I mean, some people would be pretty upset, right? If it was trying to sit there and say Mormons uh, should be praying to Mecca um, and somehow thinking that uh, the Buddha is the Dalai Lama. Although the Buddha and the Dalai Lama may not be too far of a stretch from each other because they both in some ways are a part of Buddhism. Maybe it should be a picture of Krishna there. You get my point, right? We seem to be able to mix and blend um, in a funny manner uh, fictional worlds. Um, and that can even upset people and cause problems for individuals that are really devoted to these worlds, these uh, mythologies. Um, but when it comes to religions, things that adherents actually believe to be true about the world, suddenly there, there are numerous people that seem to think they're all the same. It doesn't matter which one you believe. It doesn't matter which one you hold to. They're all basically the same. Uh, God is in all of them. They all lead to God. It doesn't matter. Akuna Matata. This wonderful book called Ishmael by Daniel Quinn, which talks, it, which, which is, anyway, it's a gorilla talking, but anyway. Uh, it talks about one of the points it brings out is one of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world that there are millions of ways to be a then human being and, and many ways no but many paths no to what you call god that and her path crazy. might be something else and when she gets there she might call it the light but her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her if it brings her to the same point that it brings you it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not and I guess the danger that could be in that I mean it's it sounds great on the onset but if you really look at both sides I there could possibly be just one way what what about Jesus what about Jesus no worries just get along can't we all just get along um, yeah if it doesn't work with fantasy fiction fanboy fangirl stuff it's not going to work with religions, especially ones that are grounded in history and cultures and whole civilizations uh, wrapped around the morality and main thrust and direction of these religions. Anyways, that's just a thought I had when I saw this great triggering meme.
Peace in Christ, everyone.